Greenworks 60 Volt Go-Kart Assembly Guide. In this video, we will show you how to unbox and assemble your Greenworks 60 Volt Go-Kart. Tools required. You will need a 10 mm wrench, a 13 mm wrench, a 14 mm wrench, a 4 mm Allen key, and a 6 mm Allen key. For your convenience, all of the tools needed to assemble your go-kart have been provided. However, you may prefer to use your own. Let's get started. Unpacking. Your go-kart may have been shipped on a pallet. Do not attempt to lift the box off the pallet. Moving the box may cause personal injury or damage to the unit. The cart will need to be fully unboxed and lifted off of the frame prior to assembly. First, cut the straps. Remove the upper box and set it aside. This step may require a second person. Inspect the go-kart to ensure no damage has occurred in shipping. Disassemble the frame by removing the bolts with a 13 and 14 millimeter wrench. Remove the upper section of the frame first by removing all of the lower bolts of the frame. Careful, the edges may be sharp. You should wear safety gloves for this step. With assistance, Lift and remove the upper section of the frame and set it aside. Remove the plastic wrap. Cut the ties and remove the seat. Under the seat, you'll find a box of hardware, two batteries and a charger, the seat belts, a storage rack, and short sections of the brush guard. Cut the ties, holding the two long sections of the brush guard to the frame. Remove and set them aside. Remove any remaining plastic packaging. Cut the metal ties securing the go-kart to the frame. With assistance, lift and move the go-kart off of the frame. Keep the box, frame, and packing material until you have operated the product and confirmed it works properly. Take inventory. Take a careful inventory of the assembly items and hardware included. Included with your go-kart are a box containing four bags of hardware, the manual, the steering wheel cover, cable tie-downs, and an assembly toolkit. An accessory rack containing two brush guard rear supports, one left and one right, two brush guard side supports, one left and one right, one brush guard center support, and the steering wheel. A double seat a bag containing two seat belts with hardware attached and a safety net, and two main brush guards, one left and one right, including brake lights. For your convenience, the hardware comes in separate bags for each step of the assembly. Let's assemble your go-kart, installing the steering wheel. Align the holes in the steering wheel with the holes on the steering column. Using the hardware from bag A, insert all three bolts into the holes from the top. Place a nut on each bolt, and using the 4mm Allen key on the bolt and a 10mm wrench on the nut, tighten securely.
Attach the steering wheel cap by snapping it into place at the center of the steering wheel with the point at the 12 o'clock position. Installing the seat. There are two adjustable tracks pre-installed under the seat. Both tracks have a tab. Locate the two tabs and the corresponding slots in the frame. Carefully slide these tabs into the slots. Once the seat is in position, pull the seat adjustment lever on the driver's side and slide the seat forward. Look for the mounting holes at the rear of each seat rail. Line up these holes with the holes in the frame and insert the two bolts from bag B down into the holes. Place a nut on each bolt and tighten securely using the supplied 10 mm T-wrench on the bolt and a 13 mm wrench on the nut. Installing the seat belts. The seat belt hardware comes pre-installed on the belts. Remove the bolt, gasket, washer, and nut from the inside lap belts to avoid damaging the seat. The inside lap belts will need to fit between the backrest and seat. The other hardware can remain on. Starting with the passenger side, guide the longer shoulder harnesses through the upper holes of the seats, making sure not to twist the belt. Locate the shoulder harness mounting points on the frame behind the seats. Remove the gasket, washer, and nut. Attach the shoulder belts to the upper mounting points on the frame. Pass the bolt through the hole, then add the gasket, washer, and nut, and tighten securely. Be sure to orient the mounting points so that they curve in the direction of the side they're applicable to. The bolt requires a 14 mm wrench and the nut requires a 19 mm wrench. Repeat with the driver's side shoulder harnesses. Pass the outer lap belts around the seat and the inner lap belts through the seat. Locate the four lower lap belt mounting points on the frame and attach the lap belts in the same way. Repeat for all four lap belts. Installing the brush guard. The go-kart comes with a brush guard to protect you. The main brush guards are both slightly angled, with the driver's side leaning left and the passenger side leaning right. Keep note of this as the guards are not interchangeable. Align the holes in the front end of the passenger side brush guard with the holes in the front of the chassis. Install two 20 mm bolts and screw them in until they are finger tight. You will not require a nut as the chassis holes are threaded. Do not fully tighten the bolts until all the support bars are installed. Align the holes in the rear of the brush guard with the holes in the rear of the chassis and install two more bolts. Screw them in until they are finger tight. Repeat on the driver's side. Now, install the rear supports. Align the brush guard rear support between the two holes in the chassis behind the driver's seat and the two holes in the main guard. 
you will know it is on the correct side if the rack mounting point is near the top and the flat side of the flange is on the outside. Insert a 20mm bolt in each of the four holes and screw them in until they are finger tight. Repeat on the opposite side. Now, install the side supports. Line up the lower two holes of the left brush guard side support with the two holes in the chassis behind the driver's seat. Insert a 20mm bolt in each of the two holes and screw them in until they are finger tight. Place a cap on the other end of the support and line it up with the outside hole at the top of the main brush guard. Place a concave spacer on a 50mm flange bolt and insert it through the hole on the inside of the brush guard. Screw it into the threaded hole at the end of the side support until finger tight. Repeat on the opposite side. Finally, install the center support. Place a cap on each end of the brush guard center support and align each end with the front hole at the top of the main brush guard. Place a concave spacer on a 50mm flange bolt and insert it through the hole on the outside of the brush guard. Screw it into the threaded hole at the end of the center support until finger tight. Repeat on the opposite side. Installing the accessory rack. The go-kart has an accessory rack that you can use to carry items. Align the accessory rack to the mounting points on the rear guards. Using hardware from bag D, insert four 20mm bolts through the four mounting holes from the outside. Install a nut on each bolt. Align the rear holes of the accessory rack with the holes in the back of the main brush guard. Place a concave spacer on a long 45mm bolt and insert it through the hole from the outside. Install a nut and screw it in until it is finger tight. Repeat on the opposite side. With the brush guard fully assembled, you may now tighten all the bolts. You will need a 6mm Allen key 13 mm wrench and a 14 mm wrench. Connecting the brake lights. Your go kart comes with brake lights installed. You just need to plug them in. Run the cable along the brush guard and behind the seat. Connection can be found in a rubber boot behind the seat near the rear suspension. You will notice a second black and red connection. This can be used to connect additional lights and accessories. You can ignore this for now. Plug the two gray ends together. Repeat on the opposite side.
Secure the cables to the brush guard using the tie downs. Repeat on the opposite side. A safety net is included with your go-kart. It has 11 tie-down straps. When installing, you can tell which edge is the bottom by locating the side with only one tie-down strap. Attach two straps to the center support by wrapping them around the bar and feeding it through the buckle. Pull them tight. Attach two to each brush guard side support and one to the lower frame between the seat belt mounting points. Secure one strap at each corner. And that's it. Now it's time to operate the go-kart. For operating instructions, including how to power up, start, drive, and stop the go-kart, please refer to the operation video linked below. To learn more about this product, including how to charge the batteries, operation, and general maintenance, visit our YouTube channel. Properly maintained, your Greenworks go-kart will provide you with years of great service. If you have any difficulties or need replacement parts, contact us at greenworkstools.com. Please dispose of packing material properly according to your area's guidelines. Recycle whenever possible, and thanks for watching.